Hey everyone, today I'm doing a video that I have been waiting for for a good while now and we're doing a swimsuit haul. So I have six different swimsuits here and I asked you guys if you wanted me to do Wish or AliExpress or eBay and Wish won with AliExpress on a pretty close second. So I decided that I would do both. So this is like Wish versus AliExpress and I have three swimsuits from each. So I think we're just gonna do Wish first and then AliExpress after. So I'm just gonna look up what I got from which place. I actually think the swimsuits that I bought from AliExpress are more interesting than the ones from Wish. Um, but you know. Okay, so we have the all white one. We have a black, um, a black. The blue um, half pattern one. And then we also have a white uh, snakeskin one. So these are in completely different sizes. The snake skin is an extra large. This one is also in an extra large, while the white one is a 5X. So we have very good variety on the sizing for this one, which I think is really interesting. So as always, I just went out from whatever the size guide recommended, and I just bought that size. So let's try this one first. This is the snake skin one, and I will do try-ons for this video as well. But I'm not quite sure how to do that yet since I don't want to be demonetized for this video. Um, but yeah, so here is the snakeskin swimsuit. So these are the bottoms and they are very, very cheeky. Um, and also I think these might be a little bit tiny. But yeah, and they do have a like protective layer in here. Other than that, they feel like they sweet, feel like a swimsuit. But they are double lined, which is great. So there's this little uh, white fabric in here as well as the snakeskin one, which will hopefully lead to this not being see-through. And then this is the top, and these are so tiny. Um, so for someone my size, there is no way this is going to cover anything. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a try-on of this at all, because it's just so small. But around it's large, so I don't know. Um, there's also these little pads in here that you can take out and they're not the awkward round ones They're actually Triangular so they fit a little bit better. I do have to say that uh, although the fabric and the quality feels nice The actual size of this is not very good So if there's no try on clip for this It's because it's going to show way too much and I can't actually show that on camera Okay, so I can't try on the bikini, but this is what the bottoms look like for the snakeskin one they are quite cheeky, but they're actually not too bad. And they are more high-waisted than I thought they would be. And they actually fit me, which I thought that they would be too small. So for comparison, here is the... Yeah, there's just no way. They fit around though. And now we're doing the blue one, and all of these are bikinis, I think. I don't think I got a bathing suit, because I really don't need want like bathing suits. So these are the bottoms. They look like this and they have this little um, part that goes out right here so it kind of hugs your waist. And this is also adjustable which is cool so you can uh, take this in and out as you want to for it to fit you right. Which is amazing. That's actually really clever. Size wise it looks like it's gonna fit me fine and it's not too cheeky either and it feels really nice and soft. The front is double lined, but the back part is not. And like I said, this is an extra large as well. So here you can see the difference and they're both extra larges. So that's why it's so important that you actually check the size chart. And then this is the actual top. So it um, has thick straps in the front and in the back there are thinner straps, but there are um, two of them and they are adjustable. And it kind of just flows like this. So it has this little triangular shape down here which kind of covers you up a little bit. And there is these like awkward round paddings in here. Um, you can't st uh, see that they're there because of this overlay, which is completely nice and flowy. And there is a little hole here if you want to take this out. I do think that this will fi fit me. So I think I will actually be able to do a try on of this blue one, which is great. And the front is also double lined in the front, but not in the back. But also, you don't really need the double lining in the back because there's nothing back there that people don't want to show for the most part. But yeah, here you can see this like awkward shape of the pads. I really don't like those, so I will take those out before I try on the bikini. 
and here is the blue bikini so we have these straps here you can kind of place them where you want and you can adjust how big this is if you want to have it higher like all up to your waist and then this bikini the strap under underneath is not it's not super tight but i don't feel like i'm gonna fall out and like i mentioned i did take out the padding this is what it looks like from behind i don't know how well you can actually see that Um, this is very nice though. I like this like uh, v-shape cut right here. It looks really flattering and I do like this one actually both the top and the bottom I really like on this so I will probably be wearing This one this summer and I do feel like it's gonna fit me for a while even though I will get smaller because you can adjust the back of the straps right here. It's actually quite nice I'm actually quite surprised because I also thought that this would be too small for me. And then we have this white one, which is a 5X. So here are the bottoms, and these are actually super cute. They have these like cutouts on the side, on both sides, and the front and the back is double lined, which is great because white bikinis have a tendency to become pretty see-through pretty quickly because they get wet. Um, and this is quite large, honestly, but I think it's nice because it is high-waisted. Um, so again, I'm gonna do the size comparison with the blue one, which was the bigger of the two first ones that we looked at. Yeah, so here you go. There's about the same difference with this as there was with the uh, snakeskin one and the blue one. But these ones, if anything, they're too big and then I can give them to a friend of mine. And um, the cutouts are really, really cute. And um, yeah. They're not very cheeky in the back either, which I personally don't like really having my butt out at the beach. So I don't really mind them being not very cheeky. And then this is the top. So it is just like a sports bra looking thing in the back. And then in the front, it has this little crisscross detail as well as this flowy um, like ruffle part. And then again, it has these um, stupid little things. Um, and here as well, there's a hole so you can take them out if you want to. It's also double lined and it feels good quality. It feels like swimsuit material and um, a lot of the cheaper items that you get from Wish that are not supposed to be swimsuit material feels like swimsuit material. So if the swimsuits had actually felt like something else, I would have been very, very disappointed. This one actually looks really, really nice and it is uh, nice and stretchy. The only thing is that I think maybe this band is a little bit too big for me. Um, but we will find that out when we try this on For this one. I actually like the bottoms more than I like the top The bottoms are actually really nice. They're nice and high-waisted. They don't feel very tight um, Plus this one is really flattering and it kind of hides the fact that I have my belly going up here uh, This one the top though. I don't feel like it's very Secure if that makes sense. It feels like my boob is gonna like fall out under here and I kind of had to like lift them in place. It is very cute for like a photo or something, but I don't really pose in bikinis all that much. Other than that though, I do think that this one looks very nice. And yeah, I do wish that maybe this one was like cut a little bit off or that it went all the way down. But you can obviously just cut this yourself because you, you don't need a seam on this. It doesn't look like it's very see-through either. But it's very strange because you can like see my under boob right here. Because it's like the top is too too small. But these are like quite roomy. And then we're going on to the AliExpress items. Um, so this is the first one. And this is from a brand called Dione, I think. Um, and it comes in this Ziploc bag. And it is very colorful. Kind of matches my hair like it is now actually. So here is the bottoms and they have this um, like blue band on the top and then on the back they're all yellow. Front again is double lined while the back part is not and this is in a size 3x. And I think this will be fine as well if anything it might be a little bit tight. I think this might be about the same size as the blue one was. Yeah, actually the exact same size as the blue one. So this is the 3x, the yellow one and then extra large the blue one. And I just think it's really cute. Uh, and then this one again is the top part. So it's like a bralette uh, or like a balcony bra style. So it has white straps around 
and then in the back you can tie them which is nice because then you, if you have to go down or up a size you can actually adjust that yourself um, and it has uh, black adjustable straps for your shoulders and then the actual bra looks like this and there's no padding in this that you can take out there's actually not like a huge amount of padding in here anyway I feel like the cups are maybe a little bit small but I it might be fine this one though I just love the look of so if nothing else I really do hope that the top fits me nice and then maybe the bottoms with will fit me nice when I lose some weight okay we have another um, this one also fits me fine it's a little bit tight but it's not like a big deal it's not like it's digging into me it's just that it's making a little bit of a cut right here this top there is no way I'm gonna be able to make this sit properly I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like sticking out and I can't make this any tighter and I can't really do anything about the straps apart from adjusting them up and down. So I love the idea of this. It's just not working. I think my boobs are, they're either too big or they're the wrong shape or they're both. If you have probably like a B cup, this might work well. I have a D and it's just not a chance. Here's the bikini from the back. not very cheeky and it's super nice and bright the next one is from uh, Kapshi apparently so this is from Kapshi.com but it was bought on Aliexpress so I don't know if maybe they have like a store on there this is a velvet bikini and velvet bikinis is something that I honestly just kind of don't get the point of because they're velvet so how are they gonna keep up in water they look really cool but i don't understand <laughs> this is a uh, double line both in the front and in the back and it's like it's a little bit cheeky but it's not too bad and uh, this is in a size double x it looks really cute uh it's about the same size as the uh, blue one and the yellow and blue one i don't know i'm just very interested to see how this holds up in water to be honest so I do hope that I can wear it for that sake. And then here is the top. And this also has these little uh, like round things in them. And there's again a little hole here so you can take them out if you would like to, which I definitely will. On the sides right here, they have these little cutouts and then a pretty open back. And uh, there's nothing adjustable on this though. So if it doesn't fit you one way, it's not going to fit you. Uh, but I do hope it will. It looks really, really cute. And since this is velvet, you can actually wear this as a crop top if you would like it to. I mean, it feels nice quality. And the um, bikini is also double lined on both sides. It's just, I just don't understand the velvet bikini. So I had to get one to try it. Okay, velvet bikini. This really is not bad at all. You can see the little cut right here. It's actually very cute and it doesn't go too far uh, forward either because my boob just stops right here and then the cup begins which is nice and it doesn't feel like my boobs are falling out it feels pretty secure um, the velvet it feels a little bit like scratchy but I don't know why um, this little band right here probably supposed to sit a little bit further down than just like underneath my boobs but I can actually wear this and it has the nice open back, which looks pretty good. So the top I'll definitely wear. I'll try to swim in it once just to see what it's like. If I like it, then obviously I'll keep wearing it as a swimsuit. If not, this is cute just <coughs> with just like a um, high waist skirt or something. Could also be really, really cute. This um, bikini, it feels pretty secure. It's a little bit cheeky. I just picked this up, but... Yeah, it's definitely a little bit cheeky. All in all, I do think it looks pretty good. I actually think we've had quite luck so far. And then this is the last one. So here are the bottoms. And they're kind of uh, weird when just holding them up. But uh, once they're on, they will look like this. So they have this like cutout on the side right here that you step through. And then they're fairly high-waisted and they're actually really nice stretchy too. And they are not too ignore this part hanging down uh, they're not too cheeky either which is nice and they feel nice quality they are not double lined though on either side uh, but I do hope that they will hold up as they are like a darker color 
but they look really really nice I think this is also the first one that I've gotten that does not have like the protection on the inside for your private parts and the top is what kind of dragged me in for this one it just looks really really cool it has these really wide straps and this crisscross detailing across the front so as long as this part right here is big enough um, this is not gonna be an issue and then the back again there's nothing strappy about this so you're not gonna be able to adjust anything but the back is just like a pretty wide band like this this looks really really cute I don't know how secure this would be with that when actually wearing it swimming in it there's no like elastic here so it doesn't feel very secure underneath my breasts um, and then this the panties have this uh, thing that you can adjust if you want to so if you want to like wear it I think the model on the picture had it like this and I feel like they're not the same height on both sides can you see that like I don't know it just feels like this side goes higher than this side might just be me though also there's no like elastic around here either so it doesn't feel super secure but I do have to say it looks cute also the tan lines you'll get from this bikini whew. um yeah it's definitely very very cute but I don't know how practical it is and I didn't know that when I bought it so and also this is supposed to lay like like that but the instant you let go of it it rolls up like this those are all the bikinis that I bought and I'm just hoping that they're going to work out so uh, I'm just gonna try all of these on obviously you would have seen those clips already but we're gonna see how it went and I have to say I'm a little bit scared and I just hope that I didn't like make like six off awful purchases for bikinis there are several other bikinis that I want to try too from especially from Aliexpress so if you want to see it another uh, bikini haul from wish or Aliexpress eBay anything like that let me know down below because I might do another one if you guys want to see it I'm just gonna hop into all of these and I just hope that they work out because these look amazing all of them and they're actually really good quality and like some of these were like really really cheap like four dollars and stuff like that as usual, links and prices, sizes, all of that will also be down below. So we have uh, extra large, 2XL, 3XL, and 5XL, which is very interesting to me. 